Yeah, how you doing? Now, how you doing YouTube? In this video, I want to explain to you that we're basically, the world is upside down. We're in the world of opposites. And because we are living in this upside down world, because we're living in the opposite world, our bodies, the energy flow has to balance with this world. And now we have changed, we have shifted the flow of energy to a different flow. We have gone from clockwise to anti-clockwise. Um, so I'll talk about that in this video. Thank you for watching. How you doing YouTube? It's I, Master of Earth. And this video, I want it to be real short, but this video is going to be a tip for anybody that is out, of, out and about uh, in the world. As you can see, we live in a very artificial environment, and one of the consequences of living in such an artificial environment, we must remember, balance is key. Everything in the universe always tries to maintain a balance, and because we are in this unnatural environment, our bodies also have to maintain a balance. And one of the things that our bodies do to be balanced in this environment, the flow of energy in the body changes. Um, it goes, you can basically say it changes from a 9 to a 6. It basically changes from an upward spiral to a downward spiral. Or you can say that it changed from clockwise to anti-clockwise. But whatever direction your body is naturally in, because we're in this environment, we have to change the flow of energy. Uh, just me being in this environment, for example, if you're ever in a closed room, keep in mind that a straight line does not exist in nature. There's nowhere you can find a straight line, but we, ex we, we find ourselves in closed boxes. We find ourselves in rooms. And just being in that type of environment, it immediately closes your mind. It immediately changes the flow of energy in your body. And you basically got to see that uh, your body has to change the flow of energy just so it can operate. So this is something that you can start doing immediately to bring your body back into the correct flow. But I'll tell you what. Just by living in this environment, just by walking forward, I'm actually weakening myself because right now the flow, the flow of energy in my body is going the opposite direction. So a good tip in bringing about the optimum direction of energy, a good way of bringing back your natural flow of energy is to simply squat. By you doing this, your body is able now to center itself and the energy is now being, being able to circulate how it was naturally supposed to. Another way to keep the energy in the right uh, direction is to do this, is to, instead of walking forward, you walk on all four limbs. Moving like this keeps the energy in flow, but that isn't the tip of the video. The real tip of the video is this. Just standing up like this, this is not how my body was intended to, to be, and the energy flow is not really where it's supposed to be. So a good way of bringing the energy flow back to the natural flow is to walk like this. Right now, I'm working muscles in my legs, I'm working muscles in my body I have never used before. We need to understand that walking forward, you're basically overusing the same muscles you've been using for years, and you're basically forcing your body to maintain an artificial energy flow. A good way of changing that energy flow is to switch it around and walk like this. Basically. Your objective is to reverse as many things 
as you can do as possible. Instead of standing straight, stand like this. Walk the length. All these things force your body to adopt the original energy flow and let's get it let's get it straight to the point the original energy flow is basically squatting you know what I'm saying but since we can't obviously do this in this environment since the matrix want us to stand upright and to walk upright try to turn your world upside down walk backwards and walking backwards is a far more efficient exercise than walking forward. Walking backwards works out muscles that you have never even worked out before. And not only that, one step walking backwards is equivalent to 10 steps walking forward. <laughs> so that's the key of this video, a good way of bringing a good way of aligning yourself back with the natural flow you have to turn your world upside down instead of standing like this I suggest that you squat and if you if you can't squat turn your world upside down invert yourself you know just just make sure that you know everything is upside down you know what I'm saying walk backwards move backwards just, you know, change the flow of energy. The flow of energy is, is of course, in your hands. Um, and do all, you, do all you can to be aligned with all that is natural. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Thank you so much, Master of Earth.